Melbourne's horses need your help now. See our posts on the Melbourne Against Horse Drawn Carriages Facebook page or search for us on change.org to sign our petition directed at the state government and the City of Melbourne who must work together to ban horse drawn carriages from Victorian roads. Here's why. The Melbourne Against Horse Drawn Carriages campaign began in the summer of 2013 after outrage was sparked on social media over images of horses in a barren inner city vacant lot in the extreme heat with no access to water. Since this time, with your help, we've been successful in highlighting and exposing the cruelty and safety issues inherent to the trade. We have documented and also been sent stories of horses working while injured, horses fallen or collapsed, Horses spooked, catapulting drivers and bolting out of control through the city streets. Saw the horse cut across the tram tracks um, on St Kilda Road, um, bucking and kicking violently. And as we were watching, um, we saw something get ejected from the carriage, or what it looked like was the carriage, and run over. Because there were there were people everywhere. Being the time of night, um, there were people everywhere. So they're very lucky that no one was trampled as well, or that the horse wasn't hit by a tram. A horse being smashed in the head by a tram. I, I just saw the the horse and cart, the driver, just pull out straight in front of the tram. The impact of the tram sent both horses back towards the direction of the footpath. They, they just really bounced off the tram. I expected the horses to be dead because the, it was... The tram had no time to break and it, 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 was, it was going along quite fast, you know, uh, faster than I was on my bike. Horses being punched in the head when not compliant. And having their ears twisted. Being yanked at the bit. Sometimes even used as weapons against humans. You give your industry a bad name, mate. Oh my god! You do realise that everything's just been recorded on this camera? We've seen neglect. We've seen cyclists be steered into and come crashing down. On at least one occasion, the wheel wrapping around the horse's leg. We have documented repeated illegal use of bike lanes, forcing cyclists into traffic. Do you have a name? Do you have a name? Operators on mobile phones. Constantly doing illegal U-turns. Travelling on tram lines and running red lights. We have shown the public where the horses are kept at night after being forced to pull carriages all day in the Melbourne CBD. We have exposed the operators for being violent and aggressive. I will put you, cunt. When I get older, I'll put you in a fucking box. Got it. Did you actually make, make a threat to him? So can you tell us what he said? He said to me, one day we're going to meet and I'm going to smutter your nose across your face. Don't push her. Come on, buddy. Come on. You've been worn out. Fuck off. Get out. Fuck off. You're not white. You've got nothing to do with you. I'll touch you in a minute. 
Most importantly, we raised the inherent issues associated with being exploited to pull humans around all day. Their inability to graze and access water. Being stuck, tied to a carriage all day, unable to move freely and express themselves. Being constantly pet and annoyed by strangers. Standing and trotting on hard pain inflicting surfaces for 12 hours at a time, often until as late as 1am in all harsh weather extremes. We have also documented and been sent evidence of many horses used by carriage operators sold off to strangers online or at the notorious Echuca sales. The horses they have claimed for years are like family members, are regularly sold off for profits to people they do not know, with no idea how they will be treated. This is part of the carriage horse trade business model. They breed them, use them to pull carriages for a few years, then sell them off. They are objects for profits to them, not family, as they would have you believe. Over time, thanks to you, our campaign grew. Many people joined our efforts and made it clear to the City of Melbourne that you would no longer accept this cruelty. You spoke up, you signed our petition, you attended our rallies, you wrote email after email and made call after call. You documented cruelty, ongoing traffic violations and other related safety issues. Finally, in May 2017, after three and a half years of solid campaigning and public pressure, the City of Melbourne announced, as of July 1st, 2017, horse-drawn carriage operators would have their street trading permits revoked on both horse welfare and human and horse safety grounds. They would also lose their right to enter and park on Swanston Street, a proven to be highly dangerous location for them. This was a huge win. If enforced, the operators would only be able to park in the spots reserved for them on St Kilda Road, forcing them out of the prime position on Swanston Street, and they could only take pre-bookings made by phone or online. They admitted themselves this would have a huge detrimental impact on their business, as the vast majority is sourced by street trading. It's the end of my business if this is, the, if this is what's going to happen. Hopefully you'll reconsider. From July, Carriages won't be allowed to pick up passengers in Swanston Street. The Lord Mayor says it's been forced by construction of the Melbourne Metro and safety risks. Horse-drawn vehicles, modern traffic, a busy city, a million people a day, they, they just don't mix. The first day of the ban saw operators refusing to leave Swanston Street. Our pressure forced police to act and move them on. But sadly, enforcement has vanished since that day. The new ban on street trading and new parking restrictions were not being enforced at all. We stood up to this, raised public awareness. We documented ongoing breaches and sent them to the council, but they were ignored. Even when phone calls were made to get officers down to witness the blatant breaches, no fines were being issued and business continued as usual. In February 2018, two horses were again witnessed down on the road. In response, we launched an online petition highlighting the desperate need for the Victorian government to step in and ban horse-drawn vehicles from the roads entirely. Although the number of businesses operating and therefore the number of horses being used had shrunk significantly, a street trading ban had proven to be ineffective for those horses who remained in this cruel life. A new petition was launched, which quickly garnered over 30,000 signatures and was presented to the then Labor Party Road Safety Minister, Luke Donnellan. He did not even have the decency to even poke his head out the door to receive our petition that you took the time to sign, but rather chose to hide out the back having a cigarette. Then in December 2019, the world witnessed poor Tuesday laying helpless on the road whilst being kicked and called an effing lazy bitch. Again, people were being shown the reality behind the facade of the drivers in top hats and waistcoats, reflecting very poorly on our city, but still nothing was done by those in authority. 
the operators continue to illegally street trade, park wherever they like and break road safety laws, further endangering the horses and the public. We put the question of why local laws are not being enforced to the Lord Mayor during a public meeting. Uh, our local laws do monitor horse-drawn vehicles for both parking offences and illegal street trading. Our officers take that responsibility very seriously. We regularly discuss horse-drawn vehicles and their activities with our local area police who we believe also take action when they witness an offence. The City of Melbourne removed street trading permits a few years ago, as you noted, and we continue to monitor their activities on the street. The on-street support and compliance area is doing its duty and is continually reviewing the operations of horse-drawn vehicles. We receive regular and consistent correspondence from people in relation to this issue, and we continue to make sure that our executive team is alive uh, to the issues and uh, is enforcing the rules as they are. So we once again set out to prove that Lord Mayor Sally Cap and the City of Melbourne are allowing illegal street trading and parking to blatantly occur. In just one afternoon in early 2020, every single operator on the street that day was documented engaging in illegal street trading two and a half years after the ban came into place. How much? Hundred dollars. Yeah, okay. Um, so we just need some payment before we go. Now? Yeah. Cheaper? Thirty minutes, did you say? Okay, cool. Yeah. Did you take card? We have proven that the City of Melbourne are either unwilling or unable to enforce their own local laws and that it is essential now that the state government step in and ban horse-drawn vehicles from Victorian roads. They have absolutely no place in a modern society, aside from the inherent cruelty and dangers posed to humans and horses, a horse tied to a carriage all day with a chunk of metal shoved in their mouths teaches children and reinforces to society at large that animals are mere objects for our entertainment. They are not. They are magnificent individuals deserving of respect and the right to live out their lives in a way that comes as naturally to them as realistically possible in this human-dominated world. People have been looking at oppressed horses for so long, they seem to have forgotten what a free-spirited horse looks like. Horses are not vehicles. They are not objects for our entertainment. It is beyond time our road safety laws reflected that. See the pin post on our Facebook page for the contact details on who to email. Horse-drawn vehicles have not been operating in Melbourne for months due to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, they will return. Now it is the perfect time to demand the City of Melbourne works with the Victorian State Government towards a ban on horse-drawn vehicles from Victorian roads, which is enforced by Victoria Police. You can also sign our petition on change.org. Let's get this done.